Welcome to Viking Preparedness. I am Pastor Joe Fox. Today, I would like to talk to you about some security concepts. And the reason I'm going to give you concepts is because I don't know your particular situation enough. I don't know the details of your situation enough to give you any kind of security advice that, you know, applies to you directly. But I can give you concepts that I've learned over years of lifetime experience and training um, and operations and stuff um, that you can then take and apply to your personal situation and should be able to run with it. And so, you know, this is the conceptual talk, not the uh, specific talk. And I guess it, we're going to talk about today the three concepts of deterrence, detection, and response. All right, so let's talk about that. Sun Tzu said something, Sun Tzu, right? He said something to the effect of, you know, the, the acme of skill of a general is, is to win the battle without fighting it. Something like that, right? You know, it's basically win without fighting. That's cool. <clears throat> and it is. And so the first thing you want to do from a security standpoint is deter <laughs> people from attacking you, right? Because there is a threat in a security situation and that threat is attacking you. These are the words I'm using. You know, this could be a computer attack. This could be a mugging. This could be, uh, you know, the forces of evil, you know, the 44th mechanized motorized brigade, you know, whatever, coming across your farm field. Whatever it is, um, you want to deter deter them from attacking you, uh, from penetrating your security. And deterrence works a couple ways. Um, one is being invisible. You know, if they don't know you're there, uh, they can't attack you, right? Um, and so maintaining a low profile is always a good idea. But sometimes that's impossible to do. And so what you want to um, do as far as deterrence goes is make yourself look like a harder target than is worthwhile for without looking like a juicy target. And, you know, if you read books or, or you talk to people, and, and I used to consult on home security, you know, I do home security consultations, you can't make a house, a typical house in America, uh, proof against burglary. You know, if a man built it, a man can tear it apart. But what you do is you just make your house more inconvenient, harder to get into than the next six houses on your street right? And then they're just going to skip you and go for somebody else. And so you need to have a deterrence posture that just makes people go, ah, it's just not worth it. What makes them think it's not worth it? I don't know. You know, now you're starting to get into details of who is your specific threat, what are their capabilities and intentions and yada, yada. But just think about deterring them. That could be a visible, a visible deterrence. Like, you know, you're walking down the street and you don't want to get mugged. Well, don't look like some little, you know, soft person who's afraid of everybody. Walk down the street like you own it. And, and like, you know, if you mess with me, you're going to get bit. Um, but don't walk down the street looking like, you looking at me? You want to fight with me? Because, you know, you invite that, <laughs> you're going to get it, right? So there's that fine line. <clears throat> Same thing with your house. If you uh, live in a residential area and you surround your house with concertina wire or razor wire or something, uh, you're going to get some looks, right? But a regular, you know, iron fence with little sharp points on it that looks pretty, wow, that's kind of like a pain in the neck for somebody to jump over, you know, when they can go to five other houses. So think about deterrence. Think about hiding, um, not being visible, being out there, maintaining personal OPSEC, you know, that kind of thing, all the way up to uh, presenting an appearance that, you know, I'm not really worth messing with. Uh, you're going to get hurt more than you're going to gain. Uh, and that could be gates, fences, you know, all the way up to whatever your mind uh, can conceive of. The next thing with security is detection. You have to detect the threat, right? You have to know that there's somebody out there trying to get in. Again, whether that's you walking down the street, don't have your face buried in, in, your, in your phone texting somebody because you you're not maintaining situational awareness, <clears throat> or whether that's um, you have dogs outside that start barking when somebody gets within a quarter mile of your place or you have electronic detection, um, you know, that sensors that go off and alert for you to know or you have uh, cameras out there that somebody's actually monitoring and they can say, hey, we have uh, people coming over the fence in sector three, you know, whatever, right? You have to detect the threat. And so think about these things. When you're thinking about your personal security, again, whether that's on a farm or your computer or whatever, you have to know when somebody's probing you, when somebody is is attacking you. And, and so there are a bazillion ways for you to do that, but you got to do it. And so, you know, something as simple as you have a small community, 
of houses and it's bad times, somebody probably needs to be awake and watching for the entire community, an OPLP, right? Something like that. Um, pickets. Back in the Civil War times, they would put sentries out there. And the sentry's sole job, sole job was to make noise, fire off a shot, you know, if the enemy was sneaking up so that everybody could respond. Um, and so you need to detect the threat. And then that does lead us to response. You need a response plan, a response capability. Um, it's all well and good for your dogs to bark. Um, it's all well and good for your driveway alarm to go off when, you know, the suburbans are coming down it or something like that. Okay, so now what are you going to do? right? Um, just detecting them. You tried to deter them. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, you tried to detect them. That did work. Good. Now what? <laughs> right? You need to have a plan and your plan has to be rehearsed. You have to rehearse what you're going to do when these certain sensors, if you will, if you let me use that term, uh, go off. And so if your driveway alarm goes off, you know, ding dong. Okay, somebody's coming down your driveway. What do you do? What do you typically do? You just wait till somebody knocks at your door? Then why do you have a driveway alarm? <laughs> you know, maybe you look out the window. Well, okay, good. You look out the window. What if you see bad guys? You know, define bad guys however you want. You see bad guys. Now what do you do? You should rehearse that too. So it's not like, oh my God, oh my God, what are we going to do? Hey, I think we should get a gun. Um, lock the door. Come on, really? Have a plan. Have rehearsed your plan um, all the way up to your, your ranch security. You know, somebody calls in from OP3 and says, hey, it looks like we've got uh, 15 guys coming across uh, the fence down here in front of me in front of OP3. Okay, so what are you going to do? Think about these things now. Once you think about them, go ahead and war game them. You can war game them on paper. You know, I do this, he would do this, I would do this, he would do this. Come up with two or three good options and then go practice them and go see how they work out. You know, airsoft guns, even the cheap ones, have a place uh, for practicing a response plan for home security. You know, it's like, all right, you get your wife to play the bad guy or you play the bad guy, break in and say, okay, well, if somebody's coming in, we're going to be in these positions in our house and here's what we're going to do. You can practice that. You can just walk through your practice, you know, like out here for response plans, you know, out on your ranch or your farm or your retreat or whatever. But you need to have a response plan that works. The only way you're going to know if it works is if you've rehearsed it. Um, so there you go. <clears throat> you know, try deterrence, have detection, and then have a response plan that you've worked on. These are just basic concepts for security, but if you take the time to actually write those three things down, start thinking about them, and start filling in your personal blanks, uh, you'll be able to develop a much better security plan for yourself. All right. I, hate, I hope I helped you. If I did share this, um, you know, like it, um, subscribe, whatever, um, and I'll see you out there.